Hey guys, Eric here with Blue Line Fishing. I am glad you joined us today, and we're going to do a video here today that's a little bit different from what I normally do here on the fishing channel, um, but it has to pertain with it, and it's on sun protection clothing. It's a subject that's near and dear to my heart, the reason being in 2016, um, I was diagnosed with malignant melanoma, and since then, I've kind of become a, I guess, a quasi-expert on uh, what I want to be on the sun protection clothing and what it can do for you. So stay tuned, and we're going to break it down. All right, welcome back. I'll tell you what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to give you an idea on the different sun protection clothing that I wear and why, because you know I've had a, a lot of questions. Uh, on my Facebook page and on Instagram on the type of clothing I'm wearing, sometimes why. And the big thing I look for are three things whenever I purchase any kind of clothing for sun protection. Number one is the UPF factor. That's the ultraviolet protection factor. That is how much your skin is being shielded from the ultraviolet radiation of the sun. And that's what that UPF stands for. Uh, say it's a 50 or a 30. I don't buy anything unless it is 50. And the reason being, why would you? I mean, you could buy other stuff that's, that's rated at a 20 or a 30. A lot of it out there is 30. But if you have the option to get a 50 UPF, that's what I'd go with. The difference being, for example, a white cotton t-shirt has a UPF factor of 5, which means that one-fifth of the sun's UV um, is getting through to your skin, where if you have a UPF factor of 50, like on the majority of well, these, most of these shirts back here, um, it has a UPF factor of 50. What that means is that only 1 50th of the UV is getting through to your skin. So big difference. Uh, you know, and the reason being is that the material that it's made out of, cotton for example, is a wider weave. Um, it lets a lot more of that, that ultraviolet radiation through. Most of the shirts that I'm wearing here, like this Columbia right here, are going to be made out of polyester. Sometimes a combination of polyester and spandex or polyester and nylon. It's a lot tighter weave, and what that tighter weave does, it helps block out the ultraviolet radiation, the UVB and the UVA from getting to your skin. And that's what causes skin cancer. Uh, like say in my case, it was malignant melanoma, but it can also cause basal cell, squamous cell, uh, other forms of skin cancer and aging. So with that being said, uh, we're going to break down some of these shirts. I'll break down some of the sun masks and why um, I like them and some of them why I don't. Same with the shirts. And I went through a ton of different manufacturers when it came All to right, this. We're going to go ahead and break down these shirts uh, and some of the sun mask and the gloves. I'll tell you what I like about them, what I don't like about them. You know, I went through a ton of different manufacturers. There's some great ones out there. Uh, there's some that I don't like as much, and I'll explain to you why that is. Um, there's a, there is a big difference in the clothing, not necessarily based on price either. It's just how it's manufactured and the material that it's made out of. Uh, for example, this Columbia shirt that I'm wearing here, it's the Omnifreeze. It is made out of mainly uh, polyester. It has another blend in with it. But the big thing for me is, if you can see on here, it's breathable. It has these small vents that run all the way up the forearm, under my armpit, and down the side of my chest here. So it helps it breathe. Because uh, the three things I'm looking for whenever I go out and purchase sun protective clothing is, number one, is the simplest, the ultraviolet protection factor, the UPF. Number two is comfort. Number three is breathability. So I want to have that sun protection factor as my number one comfort level. Obviously, if I'm wearing it for the majority of the day or a long period of time, I want it to be comfortable. And number three, I want that breathability. I don't want to get out there and suffocate because believe it or not, if you wear these long sleeve shirts and the pants, the masks, it's much cooler than if you had that sun directly beating down on your skin. Uh, so that's something that I want to be able to do is have all three of those things combined into one piece of clothing, one garment. So I'm going to break some of these shirts down. Like I said, this Columbia shirt here has the vents that run up through here, which does help it breathe. I really like the Omnifreeze. Um, I like the Columbia brand a lot because it has all three things, the UPF factor, the uh, comfort level, and the breathability. Okay guys, I want to show you one shirt that when I first started out buying and looking at a lot of these different sun protection uh, clothing options that were out there that I found was Gills. Um, Gills, as far as a brand goes, I mean, 
think they got a pretty good reputation, but this shirt, I'll show you the problem with it. You might be able to see it right out of the gate. The first thing is the venting that's on it, that's on the side of it and down the arms. Right there, you can see through it. I mean, it's the big, wide open mesh hose, holes. Does it breathe well? Yes, it breathes very well. Does it let sun through? Absolutely. I'll tell you a little story about this. We were down the Gulf Coast uh, doing some wade fishing for speckled trout and redfish. I wore this one morning and I purchased this too because it's got a built-in mask to it. And I thought, well, that's perfect. You know, it's got the mask and it has the, um, it's got the mask and it's got all the venting and it's got the UPF at 50. But the problem was I got sunburnt through this a little bit, uh, through the mesh and I can't have that. And the reason I bought it to begin with too, like I said, this collar line was also covered which is where my malignant melanoma was, was right above my collar line. And you know, that's an area where even when you put sunscreen on a lot of times, you put it on your face, the back of your neck, the sides of your neck, but you just don't get down on that collar line. A lot of people won't either, like myself, because you didn't want to get that, that sunscreen on there and it discolors it or it gets that, you know, white filmy look to it. So it, it's an area that's, that you avoid a lot. I did and uh, kind of paid the price for it. But the gills, uh, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of just because of this type of the mesh venting in it you'll end up getting uh, sunburnt in it like I did myself. Now, if we're talking full coverage, one I absolutely love is Pelagic brand. And you can also see, hopefully, it has the venting through it as well. It has a built-in mask, a good one that's very soft, very comfortable. It's uh, like a polyester spandex material. And it also has a hood. And I'll tell you this, you think, man, I'm not wearing all that out there when it's super hot. I've wore this offshore fishing in Louisiana, Florida, Alabama, uh, all over the place when it was just blazing hot, and I never got hot wearing this. Uh, but it did a fantastic job, kept me covered up, uh, kept me getting sunburn or any kind of uh, UV for the most part. But I really, really like the uh, the Pelagic brand of sun protection clothing shirts. Uh, I mentioned earlier I'm wearing a Columbia here, and I have some other ones. You'll see, you guys will see a lot of these around. I'm sure it's just a Columbia. Uh, PFG has no venting in it, but the materials in it are fantastic, and I really like this one as well. Uh, and what I also like about it, the collar sits up higher, because the problem you, you'll run into is, if you're wearing a sun mask, and you wear a regular sun mask, like for example, this is one, and we'll get into these in a minute too though, and it stops just a sock tube but when you put it on, it'll actually stop right here at the collar line. I'll show you guys. All right, I wanted to show you guys something. You can see this gap between the sun mask and my collar line right here. That's not good. You'll get that burn around there. For me, like I said, that's where my skin cancer happened was right at the collar line, so I can't have this exposed. So these type of masks that are basically like a sock and made out of spandex type material, um, you know, I bought a lot of these at first because that was really the only thing I was finding, but they weren't the best thing out there. Once again, I'll get into these more in a minute. Um, some other type of sun protection clothing, Under Armour, um, I think makes a good one. The only thing about Under Armour that I found is that, uh, like this one's vented in segments. This one's vented all the way down, as you can see. The only thing I found with Under Armour, I do like it, but um, it's a little warmer to wear than some of the other brands. Uh, this doesn't have quite that breathability factor we talked about. You know, I'm looking for the UPF factor of 50 or above. I'm looking for comfort and I'm looking for breathability. Well, this has the first two, but it doesn't really have the breathability like I like to see or like to have in my sun protection clothing. And then if you're looking for shirts on a budget that are comparable to that, this is Magellan. Uh, Magellan is Academy Sports' brand and it's Magellan Outdoors, and I'll tell you what, uh, these are only like 20 bucks at Academy, and I'm sure you can find similar um, types at other stores too. The thing I like about it is it's got all three things as far as the UPF factor, the breathability, and the comfort. The thing I don't like about it, as you can see here, how this says the collar sits low. I can't have the collar sit low because it won't connect in. It'll have a gap between my buff or my mask and the shirt. So that's the only knock on the Magellan. It doesn't have that higher collar. It gives me all 100% protection all the way through. But that's the Magellan. And then you have hook. Two different styles of hooks here. 
uh, shirts I'll show you. This one is vented up the sleeve. It's also vented in the back. Um, I do like the venting. I've never been burnt through it. It's got all three things that I like to see. The UPF factor, the comfort and the breathability. Um, the only thing, once again, the hook is cut low in the collar and you're not going to get that full connection between the mask and the shirt. But I'll show you something that will fix that, will cure that. And we also have just some other brands too. Uh, this is Pishy Funds. It's kind of like a jersey, but you can see it's made out of a meshed material all the way through there. Um, I've wore this. I really like this one too. Um, it's got all three things that we were talking about earlier that I like to see in one of them. And then also we talked about Under Armour earlier. This one's vented through here. It's got a higher collar. So no matter what mask or buff I'm wearing, um, it'll fit in there and give me that 100% coverage all the way down. Okay, this is a Bass Pro brand. And uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I love Bass Pro, but I'll be honest with you, this Worldwide Sportsman, I couldn't be more disappointed in. It does have the venting, and it also has the um, material that we're looking for, but man, does it itch. Whatever the stitching is in this venting that runs up and down the sleeve, the arm, and the side is off the charts uncomfortable. So of those three factors, it does not have the comfort level, so this one really doesn't work for me. This is another Hook brand right here. Uh, I really like this one. I, I like Hook as a the manufacturer as far as their clothing goes, but you can see it is vented front and back, not just the bottom of the sleeve. I'll try and stretch this out here so you guys can see it. Basically all right around the bottom half of the sleeve, and then it comes up the back right here. Where it's vented, and then it's made with that tight woven material here. Um, so I really like this style of hook shirt. I can't recall exactly which one this is, but if you get on their website, uh, you'll be able to find it. Okay guys, I want to get into the masks or the buffs uh, now. These are very important, you know, especially uh, somebody like me where my malignant melanoma, like I said, was on the side of my neck. And it was a spot that was half the size of an eraser, very small. But I can tell you this, if we didn't catch it during a routine, just physical, um, I wouldn't be here doing these videos for you now. Um, it's, it's, it's scary because you can just miss one little spot of that. And once it metastasizes, it usually spreads to your either your lungs, your liver, your brain. And that's pretty much all she wrote after that. But I'm going to show you some of these buffs and what I think works and what doesn't work. First, we'll start with what I think really doesn't work. Um, you know, when I first started out looking at these, I went through brands like Salt Armor. And the only problem with these Salt Armor ones are they're like a long sock, okay? Which is okay to a point. But the thing is, it stops right down here at the collar line and leaves a gap. And I'll show you guys that. And also, besides stopping at the collar line, they don't have the breathability that I like to see. They'll make your sunglasses fog um, and they're not near as comfortable because they're very tight spandex like material that really conforms to your face. Uh, cold weather days, they're better, but once again, they're still not as comfortable as some of the others that I'll show you. But I don't think this design is optimal for what we're looking for, and I'll show you. All right, guys, as you can see, with this type of buff or mask on, there's a gap between the buff and my neck right here. And no matter how much I adjust that, and I can't adjust it to cover it, but when I start moving around, whether I'm fishing or cutting the grass or whatever it is that I'm out doing, uh, you know, I'll wear these when I go to the kid's ball game that's outside. It, it easily rides up and then I have this gap around here, no matter how much I adjust it. But what I'll show you is a couple masks here that will take care of that. All right, so a second ago, we were looking at masks that did not cover this collar line and didn't fit optimally. Like the Salt Armor and some of these others, uh, they're just not as comfortable. I mean, they really, they're tight on your face. One I'm a huge fan of is Buff, and it's the original brand, B-U-F-F -F Buff. Um, and you can see this one is cut different. To go up the back of your head, it's flared at the collar line, which is gonna cover your entire neck. And then it is vented up front. This one I love, and I'll show you it on here in just a second. I'll show you why. All right, guys, this is the buff one we were talking about just a second ago, and I'll show you why I like it. You see how this flared collar comes around? No matter which shirt I'm wearing, I talked about the Magellan shirts that don't cover the area because they have a water collar. Uh, the hook shirts are kind of like that too. You can see I can tuck this one in. And with that being said, um, it covers up everything. So this buff brand right here, I'm a really big fan of. Along those same lines is 
the Columbia brand, and they have kind of the same design. This is the design I kind of started out using, which is a traditional sock design, even though it's cut a little longer than the um, Salt Armor and some of the other brands that are the sock style. But then I started getting into finding these, actually. The, uh, they're made out of the Omnifreeze material, and you can see it's got the little disc, which is just a tighter weave pattern inside that material, which I really like. But uh, get this thing turned around the right way. As you can see, it has the flared collar. It's extended in the front, in the back, and on the sides, and it'll do the same thing that this buff brand will do. It will tuck in all the way around the shirt, and it is also, you can see there, it's vented. So when you're wearing sunglasses, things like that, it can breathe, and you just have more breathability. So the three things we're looking for in shirts, UPF factor, comfort level, and breathability, uh, this, the Columbia, and the Buff, in my material, the Buff brand, have all of those. There's some other styles out there, like this one. It's supposed to, it, it does Velcro around the top of your hat or your head. And it's called Aqua Design, and it has venting up front. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of that one. It's just not comfortable and it doesn't stay up well. Gills, uh, their shirts, I told you was an issue with the wide mesh venting on it. But I do like their masks, and their masks are a different design. As you can see in the front, it's got vent holes for your nose and your mouth that lets you breathe. Your sunglasses don't fog up as much. Uh, but it actually has little vent holes that run down the side of it here. So if you've got a breeze, you're out in a boat, whatever, it does pull air down the sides of your neck. And it is cut longer, as you can see in the front and the back, to get into that collar area. So I really like those. Um, and then when we get into the gloves, if you guys like this video, let me know, and I'll be happy to go into more in-depth on the gloves. If you were to ask me, what type of sun gloves do you like the best? I've been through a super huge variety of those. There's the sock style, which are these tail and toads, where basically when you have them on, you put them on, and uh, it's just a sock style that comes up like this and uh, covers the hand. What I'm looking for is to cover all my wrist area to my shirt. When I'm casting or doing something else, I don't want to expose any skin. Because if we're going to wear this, we need to wear it right. Have everything covered up. Uh, this is a little bit different style on this glove here. This is a completely open palm glove on this one. As you can see, it fits through the pinky and the first finger. Um, and it's not bad. If you're worried about grip on a rod and reel, or if you're golfing or whatever it is that you're doing, uh, I do actually kind of like these, except for... Uh, the material on them is pretty thin. Um, they don't do a bad job, but it's starting to fray just a little bit. Now, if you're going to ask me, hey, which one do you like just overall? Cut to the chase. I'll tell you what, one of the cheapest ones out there, but the best are these Glacier Gloves. Uh, made by Bass Pro Shops, and I think Cast King and some others make some knockoffs of them, but they all work the same. These, when they're on, you won't wear them very long, and it'll feel like you're wearing, you just, you just forget you have them on. Uh, when they get wet, they dry very quickly, too. Uh, another one I'm a big fan of is the Columbia brand, and this has the reinforced palm on it. Uh, it's suede. The only thing I found was suede over time. time. It gets chewed up a little bit. It'll start wearing out. But uh, as far as the comfort level goes, I do like these Columbias, but these, these are a short style that don't cover all the wrist, as you can see. Um, these Palmeth, though, I really do like. As you can see, they have the grips to take the glove off, because I went through some where they start tearing here at the seam line because they don't have the grips. Then at the fingers, it has the pull off so you can easily pull them off when they're wet. Uh, you can see on here it's got a UPF factor of 50. So I do like these style gloves. So, so in a nutshell, if you're going to ask me, hey, what shirts do you recommend? I'm going to say I really like the Columbia brand because it has all three things that we're looking for. Uh, sun factor protection, UPF factor. It has the comfort and the breathability. On buffs, if you're going to ask me on those, I'm going to say I also like the Columbia brand, and I really like the original um, Buff brand, and it's the UVX one with the flared collar and the vented face mask on it, really, the vented nose piece on it. Uh, on the gloves, you're going to ask me what I like. I really like the Glacier gloves, and I really like these Palmas right here uh, with a close runner-up being the Columbias. Hey guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit of something about the Sun Performance clothing, whether it be the shirts, the masks, the gloves. If you have any questions on them, please put them down in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And I'll put links to the different manufacturers that I like also down in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on it, a like. 
and I'd also appreciate a subscribe maybe smash that bell notification get notified when I put new videos out if you didn't do any of that do me one favor though please go get checked out by your dermatologist at least once a year uh, it's quick it's easy it's painless and it can save your life thanks for watching